Good morning everyone, so we're now on Saturday, Saturday morning, and we're about to head out, we're going off to York today, um, the weather's a bit naff, so we're going to York, so there's a gorgeous National Trust property called Goddard's House, it's where, you know Terry's Chocolate Orange, it's where the Terry's dude lived, it's, we've been before, and it's absolutely gorgeous, so I will get some um, photographs in there to show you all, just because it's so nice, and look, just to show you, I'm wearing, I bought another new jumper yesterday, can you see it? I'll have to try and get a photograph of the whole body. And I bought that necklace yesterday as well, which I'm absolutely loving. And um, yes, that's my outfit. Anyway, I better go because they're waiting for me. They've got the car engine running and if it's like that, then it gets run as well. I want to be on it. Why? What? What would I want to be on it for? Because you have your beautiful singing voice. So we have arrived at um, Goddard's house here in York. I've just taken a clip of the, um, what I've just shown you there is the driveway down to the house and you can see how absolutely gorgeous it is. And um, I'll show you now, you can see some of the house just there. Um, I could so live in this house. It's lovely. Oh, and by the way, did you enjoy my opera singing in the car? That was a dare that my husband, he said to me um, when we were listening to some music, and he said, a day to film and mime to it, because he'd been doing some opera singing to it, um, and I didn't get a chance to film that. And then he dared me to do it, and of course he should know me better by now if he dares me to do something like that, then I will do it. So I did. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see what else we can get. I'll show you the house now. I think they're trying to hide from me. I'll come into the garden a bit. Oh no. Let's see if I can hide from them. <laughs> I wonder where I am. Oh no, that isn't going to work either. But look. How gorgeous. Doesn't really show very well on this camera. I do need a new one. Anyway, I'll go and find them. Usually they run away from me and jump out like they did that time when we went to um, Fountain Abbey, but this time they haven't done, probably because there's other people around and they don't want to look silly. they've hidden from me again. I just wanted to show you the actual house bit from this view. Right, so. Oh, there you are. I thought they'd hidden from me. I thought you'd actually hidden from me like you usually do. It's 
gooseberry, not gooseberry. Is it gooseberry? It's gooseberry. It's mother goose, not mother goose. It's mother goose. It's goose gooseberry, not gooseberry. Ah, oh, that's a good view of the um, race course, oh, but I can't view of the race course. Ah, oh, there we go. You can see it up there. If only my head was on a periscope. Is that the right word, periscope? And then this is my level. Polka, polka. What film's that from? Do the polka, polka dance. This would be, it would be impressive though as a house. What did you get? Oh, well done. How did you get that one? Ooh. Is that called a gramophone? Is that a gramophone, that one? That? Yeah, yeah. That's where we were before we came in through there, I think. <laughs> what have you got? What are you doing? <laughs> the concentration on your face is funny. <laughs> you do know that the more you concentrate, it doesn't make you win. <laughs> You've not done very well. And you do know that if you turn them. You turn your head or your body, it doesn't make the, the ball. Oh, it did, yeah, I'll give you that at that, that time. Oh. Oh. Nothing. Do you have to actually do that? Well, I've not played this before. There was me like, at least you've got something. Me, Black Widow, 95. Hulk, 200. Thor, 377. So we went for Marvel character names on the um, score list. My husband is saying it's for data protection. But anyway, yeah, so this is the games. I think, what was the games room? Do you want to play on the piano? Yeah. So what has this been, just like the lounge? Drawing room. That light is huge though. It's a bit too dark. There we go. That's 
the main entrance way there. And then, obviously this bit here would have been the parking. And then the nice long driveway. It's an impressive driveway though. So we're now finished at that house. I absolutely love it. You can probably tell why if you got to this point. <laughs> um, but it's one of those houses where I'm being watched. One of those houses where one of the National Trust ones where it's what? The sort of size where it's not too big and it feels quite homely as well in there so I could quite easily imagine living in there sorry my husband is being very off-putting um yeah so I could quite easily and happily live in there although I don't know whether I'd feel the same at night time when it was dark and if I was the only one in there because I can imagine it probably would still feel a little bit scary and I do get scared very very easily um, even in our house I get scared at night time so I think now we're heading back to the car and we're off to what we're off to the um, it's an outlet shopping place in York so um, I don't think I'll probably do any filming there because I doubt it will be very interesting so I'll give you one last look at this gorgeous there you go, say bye bye driveway. So I thought I would just do a quick outfit of the day theme of Bob. So this is my new jumper that I bought yesterday. Um, I love it because I do love jumpers where the sleeves can be like they're quite long. I know it's quite baggy, but I just really like this. So this was from H&M. I got it half price, so it was only nine pounds. Bargain, I thought. And then I also got this necklace here i don't know if you can even see this um so that was from dorothy perkins and i think that was about eight pound fifty so it probably won't stay looking really nice like that for very long but i like it for now so yeah jumper black skinny jeans and the boots so that's my outfit morning now some of you on here may follow me over on twitter i'm not sure I think some of you do. Um, and those of you who do will remember last, beginning of last week, I put something on there about how I just started some um, artwork. And I think I probably hyped it up a little bit too much, making it sound as though it was all mine. Um, but so anyway, today I have actually just finished my artwork. I shall show it to you. Um, but don't get too impressed because. Um, I'll explain why. So here is the finished result. Impressive, hey? Not so impressive when I tell you what it is. So, right, so they basically come looking like this. So it's a ready-made print, as you can see. That's what um, that's what that one looked like. So that was all blue. So what happens is you can see those blue the blue bits there and what you do is you get this tool thing and a couple of others um, with it and that bit there it's not mega sharp but it's sharp enough and you basically um, scratch off the blue bits which then gives the colour underneath to create the colourful image so as much as I would love to say it's my own artwork it actually isn't because it's a print and I just scratch it off I think it's called well this was the hang on, this was the set I got from Amazon there and then there was another pack with it um, so there was eight all together eight different prints I used to do this when I was little but it was called I think it was called foil art where you scratched it off and it was like gold or silver foil underneath um, and I suddenly remembered about it how much I enjoyed doing it so I decided last week I was going to buy one because I just find it very relaxing to do and I enjoyed it very much so yeah I just wanted to share that with you all um, and now I have got to head off and oh a bit dark got to head off and I'm going to start editing this vlog right now and I'm not sure when you'll see it but I hope you have enjoyed watching it if you get to this point thank you please give it a thumbs up and see you next time